Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the character matrix of size R cross C and a portion of two cells C1 and C2 as the input and print the characters in zigzag direction. That is, the traversal begins from cell C1 and it moves towards the bottom of the same column. Then it moves from the bottom to top of the next column. Then it moves in vertical zigzag direction until it reaches the C2. Now we will take our first test case. So in this test case we have the number of rows to be 5 and the number of columns to be 7. That is 5 cross 7 matrix. And the cell C1 is 4 and 2, that is x1 is 4 and x y1 is 2. So we have to subtract minus 1 as we start from 0. So we'll minus 1 in both x1 and y1. So it becomes then we have c2 is equal to 3 and 6 here x2 is 3 and y2 is 6 so we'll subtract minus 1 from both so we get the coordinates as 3 comma 1 and 2 comma 5 so now we'll start from 3 comma 1 that is y h then after printing h we have to move to the next column that is y h and then we'll have a and then we'll move from bottom to top that is up to d we'll print the elements then after printing up to D we'll move to the next column that is from top to bottom that is K to L will have all the elements that is K C Q Z L then after that we'll move towards the next column from bottom to top that is A G B E I and then we'll move to the next column until we reach 2 comma 5 that is T O C this is C is 2 comma 5 so up to that so now this will be our output. Now let us implement our program. First we will get the number of rows and columns. Keep it off dot split off. And then we will get the matrix. That is list of input of dot split off. For row in range r and then we'll get the cell value that is x1 comma y1 and after that we'll get x2 comma y2 
and after getting our inputs now we'll have a variable called direction is equal to one initially and then we'll have to minus one from x1 x2 y1 y2 so x1 is x minus x1 minus one and x2 is x2 minus one and y1 is y1 minus one and y2 is y2 minus one so we'll have the while loop that is while x1 not equal to x2 or y1 not equal to y2 means we have to print the matrix of x1 and y1 and use end argument and then we'll have to increment x1 with the direction and if the x1 is equal to equal to minus 1 means then we x1 is equal to 0 and y1 will be incremented by 1 and the direction is multiplied by minus 1 and elif the x1 is equal to equal to r means then the x1 is equal to r minus 1 and y1 will be incremented by 1 and the direction is multiplied by minus 1 and finally we'll print the matrix of x1 and y1 now let us execute our program so our first test case Oh yes, we have got the correct output. Now we'll pass our second test case. Here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.